Now I want to suggest that the biggest killer of many aquarium fish, particularly goldfish, tropical fish and all the rest of it, is KH. Because many tap water, um, especially in Australia, has got zero KH in it. Rainwater will also have zero KH. So KH is basically carbonate hardness and there's various products on the market that can easily fix it. So I really recommend that no matter what sort of aquarium you have, fresh water, salt water, whatever, and you just get a KH test kit and test it. Um, it's very easy to test. Basically all you do is you get a little test tube, you fill up the test tube to the line, put in one drop, shake it, it should be blue, then count the drops, and however many drops you count, not including the first drop, is the DKH, or degrees carbonate hardness of your water. If you only want goldfish or f standard freshwater community fish, it tends to be four to six DKH is totally fine. And if you want cichlids, you tend to run it higher, more like eight or 10 DKH. And if you're gonna run salt water, you'll generally have it between eight and 12 DKH. So knowing what DKH your um, fish require and testing it every now and then is really important. And knowing that most tap water has zero. So I find that if you don't have good carbonate hardness in the water, sometimes um, you will just lose the fish. I also find that the bacteria in the system doesn't seem to grow as well and the tank tends to be more susceptible to particularly getting nitrite. Um, I also find that KH carbonate, um, calcium carbonate is all related to the, s the fins and sc scales and skeleton of the f species and so I do find that quite often if my KH is zero the fish will often eat each other and I'll get people come in saying I've got a carnivorous goldfish that's eating the other goldfish and I believe they're eating the other fish to try and get the um, um, the carbonate or calcium to ingest it for their own survival because quite often when I raise the KH to like 4 DKH, that carnivorous behaviour absolutely stops. So I've seen that many times in regards to um, fish trying to eat each other for survival to try and ingest carbonate. So every time you do a water change, I'd be recommending that you add three things to the water at least. Definitely a water ager, whether it be a chemical or a mineral water ager. I would also recommend adding some salt, something like that or this depending on the type of fish that you have and definitely adding some KH powder. So the KH is going to help stabilize the pH as well. So if you're going to run a high pH, high KH tank, you tend to use something like this, which raises pH and KH. If you're going to run a softer water tank, you'll tend to run something like this because that will raise KH and won't raise pH above 7. And then there are other products that will actually um, um, allow a lower pH. So you want to address the, or get the sort of um, KH buffer that's going to suit the application that you have. So once again, I believe that KH is one of the biggest killers of the aquarium industry. So it's something to be aware of and, um, and very, very easy to address. The, um, rock like Texas Holy Rock helps a little bit if you add that to the water that if your water does go acid, at least it will add an amount of carbonate into the water. So just something to be aware of.